hey loves welcome back to my channel it's lou if you're new welcome to my channel if you guys like what you see which i know you will please make sure you press the subscribe button that's down below as well as the bell notification so you guys are notified every single time that i post a new video now for today's video as you guys can tell by this title this is kind of like a highly requested video because i get a lot of questions about this topic which is hair sponsorships um for the sake of this video i'm just gonna tell you guys um basically how to get sponsorships yeah and you guys yes um, the girls is out. Hopefully YouTube does not demonetize me. Okay, so before I actually even go into like, you know, what I did and stuff like that to get like sponsorships and stuff like that, I just want to keep in mind like you guys, um, one thing that you need to do, which I know you guys heard a lot of people said already, which is you need to be consistent. Like... I cannot stress how important being consistent is because it's so important like you need to be consistent if you're trying to get like you know sponsorships not even just hair sponsorships when it just comes to you know just YouTube in general if you're trying to get any type of sponsorship you need to be consistent with your content because if you're not consistent you're not consistently posting who the companies are not going to see you um the companies are not going to see you. you're not going to have any type of like you know um you're not gonna have your portfolio, which is basically your video, of um, for the companies to see if they want to, like you know, use you as an influencer to promote their hair. So, you need to be consistent. You need to be consistent, and honestly, sometimes it's gonna feel like, damn, like I've been doing all these videos and I still haven't gotten any, um, you know, hair sponsorships. But honestly, at the end, it will, it will pay off. You just gotta keep doing it. You just gotta keep doing it especially if you want it to pay off at the end or if you just want to see results so i just wanted to put that out there just for anybody who get rich quick thing it, it that's not if, if that's what you're looking for like the get rich thing then that's not for you this video is not for you um maybe go look at another way to make money but this honestly is not something that's gonna happen overnight okay so now when you're getting started for to even be considered for hair sponsorships of course you need to have a youtube channel like i don't care if you have any content on it and stuff like that you need a youtube channel since you are going to be using youtube to you know promote yourself and also having an instagram now you don't necessarily need an instagram but i will say that it's good to have an instagram even if you have a small following um it's still good to have an instagram because you would be able to leverage it just so for you to be able to get paid more because majority of these hair companies yes they want you to post um the dedicated videos but majority of the time they also want you to post pictures on your instagram even if you have a even though you're like a micro influencer and you you don't have that much followers excuse me me personally i only have five thousand followers and the company still wanted me to post on my um on my um instagram but i still leveraged it to the point where i because i mean i feel like the people that i have on um instagram is kind of like different from who i have on youtube so i was able to leverage it and be like oh it's gonna be a little bit more if you want me to post pictures and stuff like that and it even goes down into how many posts you want me to post and um and how well how many posts you want me to post and like you know how many pictures you want within a post so all those things have to do with each other but in in total you need a, a youtube channel and an instagram would be good if you do have an instagram and even if you have a tiktok as well like because a lot of them i guess are getting hip to the tiktok thing so if you have a tiktok that's even better now when you're getting started um now it's really gonna boil down to your niche like what exactly is your content related to like what is your content about now um if you are trying to go into the beauty space you're gonna have to do beauty related content like it doesn't necessarily you don't necessarily have to be a beauty page because i have i do see a lot of um youtubers that you know that do business stuff like me like i don't necessarily have a niche but i still do bit beauty related content or hair related content you or lifestyle content or lifestyle content you have to be within that niche and i say this mainly because um imagine if you were a tech like you talk about like phones and all that extra stuff your audience is not gonna care or it's gonna be weird that you're doing a hair video and you're a tech channel like you're talking about phones you're talking about cameras and stuff like that like both of those things do not add up and not even let alone your um your audience would even watch it the companies are not even gonna find you within the tech space because with those companies yes they are looking they're they're looking they're trying to find influencers and stuff like that especially micro influencers 
they're not gonna be looking at tech people even though i don't care how pretty you are they're not gonna be looking at tech people for hair sponsorship like it makes no sense because how are they going to be able to benefit from that because majority of the time that audience is not going to want to purchase any type of hair so which leads me to you need to like kind of be within the lifestyle slash beauty space if you do want to start getting recognized by these different companies and stuff like that so make sure you stay within that niche and let's just take myself for example me i'm not really more so like a niche channel like i i talk about lifestyle well i do lifestyle content i do beauty related content i do um business content and i do beauty so like i'm kind of all over the place but at the same time everything still kind of goes together so even though i am a um somewhat of a business channel my business has to do with hair so it's still in a sense kind of play play a part with each other in a sense even though like i'm not really like pinpoint specific on what my niche is it, it's all over the place but it still has beauty in it like i still have beauty related content like i have hair content and stuff like that because because my business content still has hair and stuff like that in it, it i hope that makes sense now a question is how do you get these hair companies to notice you and it's a simple answer and that's basically you just posting beauty beauty um lifestyle related content i forgot to add you can contact them as well um you can just get their information from either instagram their youtube um wherever and you could just honestly just pitch pitch yourself and just make sure you have some type of content to show them and like your analytics and stuff like that and just wait to see if they respond so you can contact them as well like these companies like i stated before they are on these social media platforms they are on instagram they are on tiktok they are on facebook they are on youtube they are on these platforms and they are looking for influencers and most of the time influencers like you they are looking for you to take advantage of you let me stop not take advantage of you but they're they're on these platforms looking for influencers to um to promote their product if you are more so of a newer channel i would say start creating content that relates to beauty start creating content that relates to hair um if you're someone that always wears hair then i would say um when you do go get your hair done by a stylist then i would say take the take the camera with you and include that in your vlog or include that in whatever video you're doing or if you're someone that does know how to do their own hair then i would say go ahead and sit down and do like a mini um do a mini uh review of the hair like or do a video of you um do a video of you installing or styling the hair these are the things that these um um companies are looking for they're looking for like you know a good face a good face for their product and i also want to add like i really want to stress this even though um in the beginning you're not getting paid to do these videos or these reviews from these companies and stuff like that it's still important that you put your all in these videos because it's your first impression like these videos like i stated before these videos are basically like your resume like these videos are your resume and they're looking to see how you um transform the hair how you um because for instance let's take myself for me as you guys can see how my videos are is that i start off with i do the hair um regular and stuff like that and at the end i you know transform i put on my makeup and stuff like that like companies like videos like that like those are the um type of videos that they're looking for for when it comes to them looking for people to you know influencers to promote their um channels and stuff like that so i would really suggest you um if you do follow excuse me if you do follow um like i mean just you even looking at the bigger influencers that you know do hair related content see what they're doing like whatever they're doing clearly is working so i'm not saying go ahead and copy them but see what they're doing and try to you know change it up and um try to replicate it because that's what this, the companies are looking for and imagine if you go ahead and create a content that's similar to that um that video that that creator did most most likely if the video does good most likely youtube might even recommend it for your for the next video that that comes after that creator's content i hope that makes sense so um make sure that you go ahead and actually see what other you know hair influences or beauty related influences are doing um that are getting these hair sponsorships so you can try to implicate them as well getting when i started doing these hair sponsorships I was doing them for free and i'm pretty sure 98 95 percent of the time 
all these big hair influencers when they were starting off they probably majority of them i'm not gonna say all but majority of them they probably started off doing the hair for free because they were getting hair so i'm pretty sure they started it off for free now um looking looking back now to where i am now i mean i wouldn't really say do it for free anymore because these hair videos really take a lot out of you they take a lot so um, i wouldn't say to do free hair sponsorship but at the same time i wouldn't tell you not to do free hair sponsorship because that's what i did to you know start building it up because how i did it was that i started doing free ones i you know build up my um clientele because the you'll realize if you're good you know you're good when companies come back or when there's a lot of other companies that are contacting you once you see a lot of people um companies start contacting you that's when you know you know you got to start charging or you got to start charging more because um cause if you are trying to you know start getting in the hang of it um i mean you might be starting off with a hundred followers you might be starting off with a thousand it's honestly like i will leave it up to you to what you want to do what you're comfortable with because some people because to this day sometimes i will do free free or i won't charge as much for a sponsorship mainly because that product i was already gonna try to buy like for instance for a a clothing a clothing haul that i did um i didn't charge them the amount that you know that i was so-called aka worth mainly because i was already gonna going to spend my own money on that product but the fact that they were already gonna send it to me why not just do it for free in their bomb um company and i'm able to create content so in that case i don't mind you know um doing free free promotion or um or free promotion for the free product and stuff like that so in that case so it all goes boils down to you to like where you want to take it if you want to go ahead and just start off by you know start off by just accepting a couple as you guys can say i say a couple of hair sponsorships and then start charging or you can just start charging off that but just know they're gonna they're gonna charge you like a penny to a dollar that and i'm just gonna be completely honest with you especially if you don't even have at least a thousand i don't know you'll probably be lucky to even get five to twenty dollars and that's me being honest because to be honest with you, you're going to be arguing with these vendors. You're going to be arguing with them because most of the time or majority of the time, they don't want to pay you your worth. They're not going to pay you your worth and you're going to have to negotiate with them most of the time or unless you want to put your foot down. So keep that in mind when you are thinking about, you know, oh, how much should I charge or should I charge um, or should I do it for free? It's It really boils down to you and what you're trying to build. If you're trying to build, if you know that you're a really small um channel and you know you want to start creating content and building content then i would say yeah go go the free free um product route for a couple of ones and then after that once you build mom momentum you can start actually charging um now even when it comes to the companies even contacting you honestly you don't have to you don't have to do anything but ju just post your videos because these companies will find you it's like they're a spy or it's like they're all connected to each other like i'm telling you it's like they're all connected to each other because when one of them finds you i'm telling you all of them are gonna just start rolling in out of nowhere like they're gonna find you so um the only thing that honestly you just gotta keep in mind and gotta do is make sure that you just have your um e email at the bottom of your description bar this is very important if you don't have your um if you don't have your email in your description bar how are they going to be able to contact you so make sure like this is crucial you need to make sure you have your email or whatever form of um contact you have um put that in the description bar down below i mean rarely some of them will message you through instagram it's rare so i would really suggest you just just make sure you have your email in the description bar because um that's how they're going to be able to contact you they're going to contact you in that email so i get a lot of questions um when people say like oh how much should i be charging them and blase blase um and honestly back then like i'm like i'm gonna say back then um when i forgot the the app that i used it was a website that would tell you you know how much you should be charging like on the low end and on the high end and basically i used to go with that number well majority of the people used to go with that number um and what they also said was that you should be charging a hundred dollars per um ten thousand you should be charging a hundred per ten thousand 
and that's kind of what i've been going with i mean i would have done a little bit more but that was kind of it but now moving on like you know in 2021 2020 um I guess you could say a lot of people were knowing their worth and stuff like that so i wouldn't really say that's a good way to really like i guess charge anymore mainly because um when it comes to hair videos um for instance i do a hair video and they they gave me three hundred dollars they gave me three hundred dollars to do a hair video and within that hair video i'm gonna do the, a dedicated video and then i'm gonna do two um instagram posts which most of the time is normally how it is so that means imagine if that that video that specific video goes i guess you could say mini viral goes um whatever amount of viral that it goes like um it gets a lot of views imagine that video gets 20 40 50 100 100 000 views now i you know for a fact that that company made so much money and all you got was 300 dollars. and you will really sit there and be like damn i'm really looking like boo boo the fool like they gave me 300 dollars, and they probably just made thousands off that one video and and to think about it that video is going to be up forever forever I, how long you have your um youtube channel up they're gonna continue making money so in that sense you really got to sit there and really think about it um and that's really kind of one reason why i really was like why am i promoting these companies when i could be promoting my own hair company and i know it's 20 times better um but yeah like that it just had me here like i'm really just working for a chump change so that's why a lot of people now are like charging so much more like how much is your rent make sure you include your rent and what and all that extra stuff inside these sponsorships because um these companies they have the money they have the money they just don't want to give it to you yeah so it's all gonna really go down to you so for instance you got to think about all the bills or all the expenses that you need to take care of especially if you're like a entrepreneur or self-employed and YouTube is like your your job you really want to put those things into perspective like okay I need to charge this amount if I know that this is the amount of a sponsorship that I'm gonna get this month so I got to make sure that my bills are covered so all these things really go um, into play so there's not really an exact number honestly you could be making up your own number people just make up their own number whichever amount of money you think you're worth charge it honestly like like i said the the going by a hundred dollar um mark thing doesn't really work anymore because yeah doing hair videos takes a lot it takes a lot it may seem easy but it takes a lot like it takes a lot out of you it takes a lot of time um for you to install the hair pluck the hair bleach the hair um install it then you got to do your makeup and in the video and all that extra stuff so it takes a lot and imagine you're doing all that just to get chump change like you're like are you are you are you sick? so i got 300 dollars, and you guys just made like thousands of dollars off my my name off my audience and all that extra stuff and y'all couldn't even pay me what i'm worth so when it comes to that when it comes to pricing like i said it's really relative it's up to that person just make sure that if you are self-employed look at all the bills that you have to pay and um try to kind of go off that but yeah so that's really how i start thinking about it now like i'm really trying to you know be a little bit more comfortable charging more and if they don't charge well if they don't um if they don't give me what i'm asking for and i really don't care not i'm not even gonna say i don't care about the sponsorship but i don't really need the sponsorship i'm just gonna say okay it's been it's been good like deuces um and especially now since i don't do hair sponsorships anymore i'm basically just gonna be wearing my own hair promoting my own business um on this platform and like i said you guys don't have to support my hair business like i just want to put my content out there and have you know like be in control of my content so um that's really it when it comes to like you know you charging what you're worth or when to start charging for you know hair sponsorship now we're gonna quickly um go through um basically money and how you're gonna make this this um 25 to three thousand dollars like all this is very relative and it all depends on how much sponsorships you get um and how much you charge and so on and so forth but um let's do a quick math so if you do go down the route by by receiving free um by receiving free hair and you have a, a small following you probably have maybe around a thousand two thousand subscribers um your your videos do relatively well um 
and you're receiving free hair sponsorships at the moment you can still be able to make money and that's main and that's basically through you selling your wigs like i mean i can see why some people would just hold on to the wig because you never know when they're gonna use it but come on like let's let's be honest like let's be honest you really gonna sit there and wear all those wigs there's no way you're gonna sit there and really wear all those wigs at once so um when it comes to the free route once you finish wearing that particular unit you take the pictures for the company and you finish all you have to do you can sell those wigs like there's no reason for you to be having 10 wigs um just laying around like so what you would do is make sure you know you clean the wig you do all that and then you can choose whichever platform you want i use um depop but honestly you guys deep depop actually increase the amount that they get from your um each purchase and honestly i don't think it's worth it so i would say just create a godaddy create a um a website a godaddy i think godaddy is free or something so um get like a website or something so you can have a little bit more control about um how much percentage they take from your you know amount of money and stuff like that but if you want to use depop go ahead i'm just saying that they have a very high overhead um to use their platform but it is relatively easy to you know upload things on depop but um after you do that just post the pictures that you had in the wig and advertise on your youtube and advertise on your instagram and honestly that imagine if you do roughly around 10 like a eight to ten hair sponsorships because you guys i'm saying these numbers because these once you do like a couple these hair sponsorships are really going to keep coming keep coming especially if you're doing it good they're going to keep coming back and um in every season they're going to have a new one some of them actually would want to work with you for like um every single month like for a certain amount of time so um yes i'm saying 10 because honestly i've received 10 10 hair sponsorships in one month before so imagine if you had 10 10 wigs 10 free wigs and after you finish with them you will upload them to whichever um platform you want to sell them on honestly you could just upload them on instagram and just show them the wig and then you know people can just sell cash out for you and stuff like that but i feel like that that just does too much but um imagine if you sell all 10 of them you just made a thousand dollars you just made a thousand dollars monetize on youtube it, um that's even better so you're making the thousand dollars plus whatever sponsorship um money that you made from your ads but if you're not if you're not you know monetized that's even better you just made a thousand dollars and you're not even monetized on youtube yes at the foreign did the company did not pay you but at the same time you got the free wig and now you're able you just were able to make a thousand dollars off just free wigs so that's the one way to do it when you're just receiving the free product free wig now when it comes to when you are receiving the free product and the um actual getting paid for the promotion clearly then you're gonna get paid more you're gonna be able to basically do the same thing as with the free wigs but in that term you're gonna be basically making more because you will add the the money that you know you charge for the actual um the money that you made from the actual you know collaboration and also imagine if you are getting sponsored from you know google adsense and then now that's another five five hundred a thousand dollars that you made so in total that that right there when you are getting free product and getting paid and you're monetized that's roughly about like 25 to three thousand dollars which is probably like around the range where i was i was around like 25 three thousand dollars and you really could be making this monthly if you are dedicated enough to do hair videos now i am going to say that these videos are going to get repetitive because most of these companies want the exact same thing they're going to get repetitive they're going to get boring they might not get that much views but i mean at the back end you still make a cute penny but if you're trying to grow your um channel just know that that's going to get very repetitive and people well some people do like watching hair videos but like i said eventually it is going to get very you know tiring and t um tedious now honestly anybody can do this anybody can do this hair sponsorship honestly like i said you just, you just gotta start putting your content out there put the beauty content out there and if that if the content that you're putting is not working where it's not attracting anybody and you're um no one's emailing you then i would say go ahead like i said um before go ahead and look at other you know bigger influences that do hair content see what they're doing like try to imitate a few things i'm not saying copy them to exact t but take a little few pointers to what they're doing to um get these you know hair sponsorships like that so you can change your content 
and i i'm telling you if you're doing those things these companies are going to notice you because they're like little spies they're spies that are literally gonna find you like they're gonna find you just make sure that you have your email at the bottom now i know that this video was literally all over the place but um i really tried to i guess answer most of the questions that you know a lot of people have been asking and lastly just like i said in the beginning just be consistent you got to be consistent this is an overnight thing honestly you guys um i'm not gonna lie when i did start off off. um i got a few hair companies um when i was still within the thousand two thousand um subscriber range i was getting sponsorships hair sponsorships and stuff like that i mean i was getting them for free um i wish i knew that you know to sell my wigs because then i could have been making money from it mine is just getting the free wigs but um yeah just be just be consistent just keep going like this is not an overnight thing uh you're not gonna wake up the next day i mean if you're if you're lucky enough you have a video blow up then yeah but that's not the mass mass and that's majority not the case so you just got to keep going keep pushing out content because that is what um the companies are gonna see i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other questions that i didn't answer in this video please make sure you leave it in the description bar down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you loves in my next one bye